of technology that we have in our podcast. We're able to show you this podcast using the IMAX, which allows us to edit pictures and video that we take during school day. We are able to show you this presentation using the projectors, which take documents off the computer and display them on the smart board. The smart boards can show presentations like this, or can also be used interactively with a touch screen. In our school, we also have laptops and netbooks, which are fully equipped with Microsoft Office 2010 and Windows 7. Along with the IMAX, smart boards, and projectors, the scanners and printers allow us to view our finished product that we typed on the computer. The video cameras and digital cameras are used during the podcast. One One Pilot is used by the fifth and sixth grades on the next on the netbooks. UltraKey is a keyboarding software that is used by the fourth grade to learn to type correctly. We hope you enjoy the rest of our podcast. Our school's updated computer lab. Over the past summer, our school bought 20 new Dell computers. All of the 20 computers are fully equipped with Windows 7 and Microsoft Office 2010, which is the latest software. Also in our computer lab, there are seven printers, which are used for taking documents on the computer so you can have them in hand. We also have a scanner, which allows us to take documents that we have and input them into the computer. Along with the other equipment, we have a smart board and a projector hooked up in the lab. Grades kindergarten through eight used our computer lab. We also have three iMacs in the computer lab, which our eighth grade uses to make these podcasts. Kindergarten technology. Kindergarten students come to the computer lab once a week. Today, students are constructing drawings using a children's drawing program in conjunction with a book that was read to them during the library period. Kindergarten students also use computers daily in the classroom for math and reading. First grade technology. First grade incorporates technology in numerous ways in their penguin research project. First, they use laptops to research six different types of penguins. Second, they use a word processing software to type their report. Third, they use the drawing software to design a cover for their research project. Lastly, the eighth grade students use their expertise in videotaping when the first grade gave their oral reports to the class. Parents and friends can enjoy watching the students on SchoolTube.com. Technology in second grade. We are here with Mrs. Zanaris and we're going to ask her some questions about smart boards. Mrs. Zanaris, how often do you use your smart board when teaching? I use my smart board all day throughout the day, morning and afternoon. What types of subjects do you use your smart board for? In second grade, the fo main focus of our day is reading and language arts and math in the afternoon. So I use it for the entire day for those three subject areas. Do you use your smart board interactively or to show presentations? I use both, but mostly interactively. This stage, this stage the students want to get up, they want to manipulate the pens, manipulate their hands across the board. So they're interactive with it most of the day. What programs do you use for your smart board? The reading series that we use in second grade has resources that are downloaded onto my smart board and there is also a smart network of lesson plans that teachers across the country download and I can upload and use as well. Okay. Do you find your smart board useful for lessons? I do. I don't know what I'd do without my smart board. It was intimidating at first and I'm sure there's so much more about it that I don't know, but I don't know what I'd do without it. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Third grade technology. Today we are visiting Mrs. Romano's third grade classroom. So Michael, what are some things that you use laptops for in the third grade? Our class uses the laptops to go online. We go online to play math games that help us learn multiplication and division. Huh, that's cool. Technology in fourth grade. Ultra Key in fourth grade. Our school has Ultra Key, a keyboarding software. Ultra Key is an intense keyboarding course for all fourth grade students. By the end of fourth grade, the goal is for all students to type at a minimum of 20 words per minute while using the correct keyboarding techniques and keeping the right posture. Fifth grade technology. 
Here is Mrs. Niederreiter, our technology specialist, setting up the netbooks in our school. Fifth grade and also fourth grade use these for one to one pilot. One to one pilot is a project to expand our teachers' knowledge of the 21st century learning tools and begin using them in the classroom. Students in this project have their own netbook so that they could use these technology tools. One to one pilot is done over the internet all year round. Technology in sixth grade. The sixth grade students were using their smart board for practice for a social studies test. However, Mrs. Hart and the sixth grade made it fun by adding a twisted basketball to it. First, the students took a pen from the smart board and wrote the answer on the board. If they were right, they got a chance to shoot the basketball. Mrs. Hart is always said thinking fun things to do with the sixth grade class. Seventh grade technology. The seventh grade students, during their computer class, were using Microsoft PowerPoint to create and present a slideshow on body systems to their class. First, they researched information on body systems. Next, they took all the information they gathered and placed it into slides in Microsoft PowerPoint. Then, they added animations and transitions to the slides to make them flow better. Lastly, they presented the slideshow on the smart board to the class. Technology in 8th grade. Here are some students using the laptops during social studies class. Now, let's ask them about them. Do you like using laptops in our school? And what are some of the things we use them for? Yes, it's a great opportunity for us to get research projects done and papers. We can also get things done quicker and faster. Instead of using pens and writing and using textbooks, it's a different opportunity to use a laptop. Besides for using laptops, the 8th grade has a major project using technology called Podcast. Podcasts are multiple pictures, videos, and music all interviewing with each other to make a story. Podcasts are year-long projects and are created on the iMac. We hope you enjoyed and learned about all the technology we have here in St. Pete School. Today, you learned about some pieces of technology such as laptops, smartboards, and these iMacs. Once again, I'm Sean. I'm Bobby. And I'm Anthony. And we're the Tripod. <laughs>